And we are in the middle of the Olympics, right? And while you're watching the games at home, have you ever seen a sport and said to yourself, I think I could do that? Well, Austin Love took that to heart and tried out a popular Olympic sport. Spoiler alert, you won't be seeing him in the next Olympics. So every Olympics, I watch sports that I just simply have no idea what's going on. Today, I'm taking the initiative to learn one of those sports. The wonderful world of fencing. On guard. Is that pirates or is that fencing? Yeah, we're going to figure it out. Let's go. Hey guys, today we are here at Hooked on Fencing in North Royalton. I've never done fencing. I don't know much about fencing, but thank God we have our guy, Coach Nick, here to teach me how to do this. We're gonna do some footwork. Okay. We're gonna be moving around the strip, keeping distance, and working on trying to hit the other person, basically. Trying is the key word there. But where did fencing come from? Not only is it one of the original and oldest Olympic sports, its origins can actually be traced back centuries. Basically, its history is the same history as sword fighting. So just like people used to duel, we're doing that today, but safely. Hopefully, that, that, I like safely. That's the correct word. I do not want to be cut in half for that. In order to avoid that, I got all geared up. But before I head into battle, I had to learn the basics, like advances and retreats. That's a little limbo we got going on here. Okay. That's right. As well as lunges. Cool. And finally, we worked on parrying the blade, or also known as blocking. I'm feeling alive. With this very minimal knowledge and skill set, for some reason I thought it would be a good idea to go into battle. All right, Nick, thank you so much for the training. I think I'm ready to take someone on. Who do you got in mind? All right, we're going to be fencing Fritz over here. Fritz? Fritz, how long you been doing this for? About five, six years. Sweet, I've been doing this about five, six minutes, so I think I'm good. Finally, game time. Me versus Fritz. First of five wins. Whew, Fritz, let's go, man. Let's fence, baby. Yes, of course, Fritz had the experience and also the skill, but I had the unmatched confidence. Yes. That confidence didn't go far. Fritz got out to a hot lead. One nothing. Two nothing. Three nothing. I mean, the kid attacked my every limb. Chest, face, even my legs. Got me the Achilles. <laughs> Turns out my Achilles heel, a sword wielding 15 year old with sweet feet and blood in his eyes. I surrender. Hey, you're a real pirate, dude. <laughs> nice work. Oh my gosh. The Jack Sparrow over here. They say ignorance is bliss. Turns out actually knowing what you're doing is much more valuable in fencing. All right, thanks so much to my friends over at Hooked on Fencing. You can check them out and even try fencing for yourself. It's a little tough. They have a full list of classes on their website. Just a little bit of word to the wise. When you go for the first time, don't call out Fritz. The kid's a killer. And Dave, you know, to be fair here, I feel like I lost a little bit of my mojo because the mojo is the hair. I had to completely Woo! put it down. I had, a, I had it covered. And that's where I kind of, I realized that that's part of my skill. My, my aura comes from the hair and they completely took all of that gasoline yeah. out of my tank. That's the, the, the kryptonite The kryptonite. losing the hair. Oh my gosh, yeah. I didn't know your hair, hair could gel. do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> By the way, my new best friend, Fritz. Yeah. I tell you, that was excellent. How many people probably thought that was gonna be me on the other side? Yeah. Well, maybe, yeah. hey, Dave. I thought you might bring a foil out right here. Let's do it, baby. Yeah, all right. I'm left handed. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're left handed. They say lefties do have an advantage, so uh, maybe next week. Dave. All righty, yeah, we'll be looking forward to that. Dave against Austin, thank you.